Okay, what I'm going to do first is there's a program called Strum Machine. And it will set the beat and keep the beat to what you set it for. And what it does is provide a rhythm guitar and a bass guitar. So the first thing I'm going to play through is how this sounds by itself. Just with an alternate bass between the first and the fifth notes. And with the rhythm guitar, I'm only going to play it twice. And then I'm going to go back and add my bass to it so that we can hear how a real bass would sound in this particular song. So here it goes with Amazing Grace. One, two, two three. One, two. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it through and take off the bass from that end. So I'm going to go to here, audio mix, and I'm going to mute the bass. So all you're going to hear on this particular case is just the guitar. And I'm going to play my bass along with it, okay? So now you get to see what I'm going to do. Now what I'm going to eventually do is, I'm going to, like I showed you in class, with the G chord here, the C chord here. Now sometimes I'll walk if I go like from the G. back and forth between G, A, B, C. Also, I'm going to take and um, when I go from the, in this case, go to G, C, I'll go back to G. Also, now when I go to E minor, I'm going to just take from the third fret here and just back up. So I'm going from G, F sharp to E. That's all I'm doing is going from G to G to E, and you're just really hitting the, the bass, the root note anyway, the E chord, the E note, G, F sharp, E. And if I'm going to go from the A, I'm going to take the top E string, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. And then I'm going to do the same thing, the next string down, go from A to D. Here goes how it sounds like with Amazing Grace uh, with the rhythm track. I'm playing along the bass track here. One, two, three. One.
as you can see, they both sound different. But even if you just add the bass and just 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 hitting two notes, you can do the boom, 